Hey there guys, this is Iris from Iris Studios, and um, today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial, I'm going to try and do it in 5 minutes, um, of the new Minecraft update. It's the 1.3, it hasn't come out yet, but the server.jar is out. It's ready for the for, so you can prepare your servers. Now, I'm going to show you how to prepare it, and you can run it as soon as 1.3 1.13 comes out. So, um... We can just you can just go to Twitter and you can see that I'm not lying. My dog just came in, stupid bitch. Anyways, um, she's a dog. I got a dog, so don't, I'm not swearing. <laughs> so on the Mojang site, you can see that there is the pre pre-release server server links to the Minecraft server jar. And as he mentioned here, Jeb, if you want to prepare yourself for the server, you can just download it there. So you're gonna click that. You're gonna download. And you're gonna click save file, and this is gonna come up. I already downloaded it to try it out, so um, this one's gonna come up, not this one, because this is has number one in it. And um, you can just, whoops. Okay, so you can just close that tab, and you can move into your desktop. And in the desktop, you can make a new ser move new folder called Minecraft 1.1.3 Tutorial Test. Just do it. So, um, in that, you're going to drag in the server.jar from your downloads. Now, you're going to double click that, and this is the official Minecraft. Now, if you want Bucket, that will come out like a week later. I'll be doing a tutorial as soon as that comes out, or I'll try to. Um, the difference is that in Bucket, you have, you have mods. You can put mods. So, while this is loading, um, I'm just going to be quiet. Okay, now that it's done, um, it shouldn't take as long for you because my computer's being a bit slow today because of the internet and um, the the whole thing. But let's get on. So you can close this. This has just created lots of files in your folder that magically appear. And the first thing you're going to do is type yourself into the operator list. So you're just going to type your Minecraft username, irises, which is for me. And um, you can put in band players, their IPs. You can put in uh, the band IPs or the band players. You have the whitelist where if you only want one person or two people, as many people as you want to get into the server, you just put that. But I'm not going to do that, so I can just save that. Um, you have a server properties file and you have a server text file. Now this, you have lots of shit over here. Don't go on that one. Go on the server properties file. Double click and it'll open up in notepad or just open up in notepad if it asks you. So we're gonna start off with the important stuff because I'm trying to make this quick. Server IP, I'll get to that in a second. Well, let's just um, finish this off. Whitelist, as I explained already, if you want certain people to get in, so you can put it false if you don't want people, if you want the whitelist enabled, and true if you want it enabled. Um, hardcore false, it's a new feature. Texture pack, I would just leave it normal that people can arrange it themselves. And um, online mode, you want to put to false if you want people with unofficial you know, Minecraft launchers or accounts to get in, or you can just put true for the for the people with only the official Minecraft who people who bought the Minecraft. So you just gonna put it to false because most people don't have it. So you're gonna put the PvP to true if you want people your players to hit each other. Difficulty scales from one to four, I believe. Game mode zero is cr is. Um, survival and one is creative max players it depends on your internet connection and your, your computer speed but i leave it at around five um spawn monsters you put it false or true i just leave it true generate structures is like npc villages and everything and the motd the message of the day is going to be um test server so now you can you can save that and keep it open. Now you're gonna have Hamachi installed. I'll give the link in the description below. Um, and you're gonna have to create your new um, network. Now this is making a server on Hamachi, so you can have your Minecraft thing, your Minecraft um, server hosted on. So you, network ID. You don't need to put any numbers in. Just call whatever you want. So you just tell your this to your friends. So, Irises ID 123. Gonna call that, and we're gonna call the password 123. Feel free to join. Now, we're gonna cl click create, and instantly it comes up. Now, 
what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna copy this address that you're gonna find over here right over here that's your IP now the server IP you're gonna put there and that's gonna be hosting the server on this IP through Hamachi and everything now so your friends can join you're gonna tell them this ID the iris is ID one two three so they'll go network join an existing network and they'll go um, oh, I want to join Irosus, the one that you've told them, ID 123. It is case sensitive, I believe. And then you tell them the password, 123. And they can join, but I can't join my own server. So, then you can go straight. Ops, we've done. Okay, this can, we can save. Um, we run the Minecraft server again. Shouldn't take long. Okay, it's done. See? My computer's fast. Now, um, you go straight onto Minecraft and you can go into multiplayer and as you can see, my tutorial server is on. Now, let's delete that. If you want, you don't. You can name this whatever you want, it doesn't have to be the same as the Hamachi. And we're going to add the Hamachi server number that we find from, that we find from over here, this one. And you're going to click done. Now, as soon as you see it, it comes up as full bars that means your connection how much lag you're gonna have and all that now I get connection lost of s lost connection lost end of stream this is because the 1.3.1 has not come out but the pre-release server is on already so you'll be able to access the server straight away once 1.3 comes out 1.3.1 because they've updated from 1.3 so that's basically it I've tried to do this as quick as I could I can switch off my server and my minecraft and that's it. So if you really do need anything, just comment or PM me. Be sure to like, um, favorite, and subscribe if you already haven't. Um, the m likes and things help people find this video and makes it look nice and pretty. So, um, yeah. So that's it. Um, I have other videos. I have my Happy Wheels, my League of Legends up there. I'll be playing more Minecraft now that 1.3.1 has come out. And I'll see you guys next time.